Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to calculate the runoff for watershed. Now, this is a very common FE exam question. Also, there is this equation that you have to use to be able to solve this problem and is not provided to you on the reference manual. So I'm going to share that with you here. And there's also units. Keep in mind the units for this equation. The units are a little bit tricky. So I'm going to go over that here as well. Now, for more videos covering the FE exam questions or engineering problems, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your tests. Oh yeah, everybody now. Now before we start, I just want to remind you guys to try to attempt these problems before looking at the solution. Because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And if you do a mistake, you are going to remember it during your exam. So try to do the problem first and then go ahead and look at the solution and see how we solve it here. Okay guys, so now let's read the question together and solve this problem. So we are giving a small watershed is located in Los Angeles, California, and it has a time concentration of 15 minutes. The landscape distribution is shown below and the rainfall intensity is 0.78 inches per hour. We need to calculate the peak discharge. Now, if we go to the reference manual and we look up the peak discharge, it is going to take us to this section here, which is under hydrology and hydraulics, and it's on page 170. So this is the equation to calculate the peak discharge. Now let's go over the units. Note guys here that the area has to be in acres. For the runoff coefficients, it's dimensionless. And I, which is the rainfall intensity, has to be an inch per hour. Now all these units are gonna give you cubic feet per second. So make sure all these units are correct in your equation or else you're gonna get a different answer. So this is the equation. Now to calculate for C, since we were not giving just one C, we actually have three runoff coefficients. So if we take a look at grassland here, we have only 0.3 versus 0.6 for housing estate. And that's because when you have grass and you have, let's say, rain, you have more seepage, water going through the soil, and you have less runoff. And that's why the runoff here is lower than the runoff for when you have concrete or when you have housing. Now, to find the average C, if we actually take the average, we do 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.6, and you divide that by 3, it will not give us a very accurate average. That's because we only have, let's say, 20 acres of 0 0.3 and we have 40 acres of 0.6. So if we take the average, it would not count for that. So what we need to do is use this equation. So what we have to do here is take the runoff coefficient and multiply it by the area and then divide it by the total area. And so here now we get a closer average runoff coefficient. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers, you're gonna get 0.47 for C. Now make sure you guys add this equation to your cheat sheet I already talked about the importance of having a cheat sheet. I will leave the link above there in case you haven't checked it out. Now let's plug in everything into the equation to solve for the peak discharge. So C we said is 0 0.47. For the rainfall intensity was given to us 0 0.78 inch per hour. And for the area, make sure you do the total area and it's going to be in acres. Now all these units are specified on the reference manual and these are the correct units for this equation. Now if you guys plug in these numbers, you're gonna get 27 cubic feet per second and so the answer is a if you guys want some practice problems or some cheat sheets you can visit my website enter your email address and i will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for new videos every tuesday and friday thank you guys for watching good luck with your studying and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah, everybody now.